Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I wanna show you how to make some really easy pecan pie bars. Uh, this recipe, I actually got out of a cookbook from the church I grew up in down in Southern Louisiana. It was called Dutchtown Baptist Church. And I love these old cookbooks because all of these recipes are collected from the people that go to the church and they're just recipes that their families have always made. And, you know, they're all kind of tried and true recipes that you know are pretty much gonna work every single time. They're all simple. And this pecan pie cake is what they called it, but I turned it into some uh, pecan pie bars. So to get started, I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. And I've also melted a stick of butter in this uh, this bowl. So to this, we're gonna first make a crust. We're gonna put this little mixture together. We're gonna put one egg. And then we're going to put a yellow cake mix. Now this could be any kind of yellow cake mix. The instructions in the original recipes just says don't use one that has a pudding mix in, in it. So I just got the um, you know, store brand yellow cake mix. So we're just gonna dump that in there. Oops. And that is the only ingredients that you need for the crust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a good stir and get it all mixed together. And then once it's mixed, we're just gonna press it into that um, cake pan. Our baking sheet. That is a 9 by 13 inch. And this is very, very thick. But you want to get everything stirred up really well. And I don't know about you, but there was always pecan pie. <laughs> I think at every potluck that we had. And this, this recipe was posted by Mr. Harold Rogers. And uh, I know they always had really good recipes at the potluck. <laughs> okay, so like I said, this is kind of like a really thick dough. And we're going to press it into this pan. I'm just gonna dump it out into here. That's okay if it's not completely mixed up. You might see a little bit of dry bits, but don't worry about that. So, now you're just gonna take your hands. I'm just gonna break it up so it's a little bit more even all over the the bottom will make it easier to, to press out. So now just use your hand and press it evenly into the bottom. And this doesn't have to be perfect. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this into the oven at 350 degrees for, I think it's 20 minutes, yeah. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna let this crust set up a little bit and cook. And that way when we make our filling and pour it on top, it doesn't just all kind of become one big, you know, mixture. By cooking the bottom, it just helps to kind of have that separate crust on the bottom. Okay. So again, the crust is just a yellow cake mix that you buy at the store. One stick of butter that's been melted and one egg. Okay. So that's it. You can see it's just been simply pressed down into the bottom. Well, I'm gonna go stick this in the oven for 20 minutes and I'll come back and show you how to 
make the filling that we're going to put on top. The crust for the pecan pie bars are in the oven. So right now I'm going to show you how to put together the filling that we're going to pour on top. I've already put one and a half cups of light corn syrup into this bowl. And to that, we're going to add three whole eggs. Now, I like to save these little egg cartons. And if you go back and look at my um, how to make hard boiled eggs in an instant pot video, you'll see why you can actually use these as little egg trays in your instant pot to hold your eggs and stack them on top of each other. Okay, so I've got three eggs. Then we have one third a cup of light brown sugar that's been packed. We're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I've roughly chopped one and a half cups of pecans. Some of these are whole, some of them are, you know, halves. I like it to be kind of chunky, so you can, you can dice these up as, as fine as you like. And I like to go ahead and put them all in before I start mixing. I feel like they kind of help get it mixed up a little bit better. Okay. So I'm just going to take the spatula and mix all this together until it's well combined. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, that's it. See, that's what I'm talking about. These recipes are just too easy to make. Now, in this cookbook, it recommends that you do this the day before and actually, you know, let it cool overnight. It doesn't say anything about putting in the fridge. I've always just made them the same day, but we have had leftovers the next day and they are really good. So this is something that if you're gonna make for a holiday dinner, you could definitely make it the day beforehand. And that way it's one less thing that you have to put in your oven the next day. Okay, so I've got that all mixed up and I'm gonna go get the crust out of the oven and we'll come back and put it all together. Okay, so this just came out of the oven and you can see that it's, it's kind of done on the top. It's not done all the way through, but it's just enough to where when we pour this on top that it's not going to um, you know, sink down into and mix with that crust mixture. So, now this is very hot, all right, but I'm gonna give this mixture one more little stir. And then we are going to carefully pour this on top. Just make sure we get all that out of there. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of spread the, the pecans around where they're nice and even. And now we're going to go back and put this into the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes and then we'll bring it out and let it cool, okay? All right, you guys, these pecan pie bars just came out of the oven and you can see that it just looks, it looks just like a pecan pie on, on top. And you don't wanna cut into these while they're still warm. You wanna let them cool off. And one of the things that I like to do is while they're still warm, I just take a really sharp thin knife and I just kind of like to go around the edges just to peel them back just a little bit. I just find this kind of makes it easier to get them out later once they, they're cooled because 
you know, they are pretty sticky. There's a lot of sugar in this recipe and the corn syrup. So I'm just kind of just loosening from the sides, just very, very gently. And then we're gonna let these cool completely before we cut them. Okay, so just put them aside and let them cool. And then once they're all done, I'll, um, I'll come back and, and slice one and show you what they look like on the, uh, the bottom with that crust. So the pecan pie bars have had a chance to cool off and I went ahead and cut them into squares. And I want you to see just how delicious these look. They are so yummy. You can see the, the crust that we made on the bottom and then all the pecans and the filling that we baked right on top of that. This is such an easy recipe and this is just great for parties and potlucks and just any kind of celebration, any holiday. So easy to make and go to my website. I'll have a printable recipe for you. But if you did like this recipe, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll have more real simple recipes for you coming up. Until then, bye.